doing this video to help all people who are doing uh, fan installations on these BMWs. It should be similar on most, but this is a BMW 1995 E36. So basically, um, if you're doing an, an aftermarket fan and getting rid of the standard uh, mechanical fan, which is uh, only down there, um, currently have a electrical fan right there installed on the radiator and um, basically this part I'm doing the relay which I installed right there to power it. Now sometimes this is confusing and it was confusing for me is how to power this relay. So here's how it starts. Um, the gray wire now this is a uh, S-P-A-L-L spell fan. So it comes with a gray wire. That's the gray wire right there. That one is going to go to your uh, temperature switch right here. This has uh, a low and a high and a ground. Basically, once the temperature reaches a certain level, this thing lets power connect between these two terminals for the low and the high, two different uh, temperature settings. This is an 80. Celsius one which turns on earlier, which is usually what you do want and uh, So is you got three wires here. You got a brown and a uh, Black and a green There's a straight line on but let's ignore that for now um, I'm basically Going to tie the uh, gray wire here on the green Brown is ground and the other one is for high. So this is for low, this is for high. Okay? And that will activate the uh, relay. It basically tells the relay to turn on. Now the relay obviously connects to the fan down there. And that's through a red wire which I ran through all these uh, garments here. And there's the relay. Now the relay also needs auxiliary power. That's uh, telling it to turn on. The battery connection is there, that's easy. The part for the uh, auxiliary is going to be under this guy right here and basically there's a garment right underneath you stick a screwdriver and remove that and you'll be exposed to um, a green thicker green slash white wire thicker green slash white wire once you're exposed to that you can just go ahead and solder on a joint on there and make your connection there which is just like I have going up to it and just make sure you run it through the garment so there's no uh, water and whatever coming through put it back on and run all your wires and that's pretty much it the ground is taken off from the fan and we got our ground right here that wire the blue one with the connection sorry yeah that's my ground ground point and that is going both to the um, currently right now it's going through a gray wire because I have the cabin on all the time but I, turn, I realize that you don't want the fan on all the time because when you start your car, it's putting extra load on it. And the car takes a while to cool up and warm up anyway, so you want to wire it to that switch. You can install a different type of switch, um, but this is probably the easiest one since you already have this here, and I did replace it with a lower, lower version, which turns on quicker at 80 Celsius. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to do. Um, again, there's the fan. It's a small fan. I don't know how you pronounce that, but... It's a, it's a good quality fan onto the standard radiator, um, pretty easy to install, you just drill a couple holes. It, it's bolt on as long as you're willing to drill a couple holes here and there. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it and the fan works real good, don't have the mechanical one anymore. Um, my auxiliary is not working, that's the next project, you can make that one work, I don't know why, but it could be relays, um, it could be the fan itself. Not sure, but uh, yeah, that, that's where you mount it to that bolt. There's a spot right there, and this is an OBD1, 95, OBD2, very similar, except you have a few extra stuff in the engine bay. Thanks for watching.